Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so in this video and uh, four more, so a total of five videos, I'm going to teach you about different size infinities. So this is pretty cool. Um, there are two types of infinities we're going to talk about. The first type is called countably infinite or listable. And the second type is called uncountably infinite or unlistable. Yeah? All right, cool. Now, uh, recall that by a set, we mean a collection of things. And those things can be numbers, and frequently we like to talk about sets of numbers. But yeah, a set just means a collection of things, um, just a, as a reminder. All right, now let's start with a familiar set, and it's a set of numbers called the natural numbers, which you should know from grade school, but I'll remind you what they look like. Now what we're going to say is that the natural numbers, symbolized by this N here, is a countably infinite set. That is, it's listable. And if you forgot... Here's what the natural numbers look like. We start with 1, and then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and so on. Um, and what we're saying about this set of numbers is that it is countably infinite. We reckon that it's infinite. It never ends, but it's listable. We can start with the first one, and then write down the second one, and then the third, and the fourth, and so on. And so this makes one kind of infinity. Uh, the fact that we can list them and write them down um, means that they are not as big as the other kind of infinity. They're infinite, but they're not the biggest type of infinity. We'll uh, look at what the other type of infinity looks like, yeah? Okay, cool, cool. Um, but the natural numbers are super important because uh, anytime we want to show that some other set is countably infinite, what we do is we compare it to the natural numbers and we create a one-to-one -one correspondence between uh, the numbers here and the numbers in the other set. So if we're able to do that, which is if we're able to take the members of the natural numbers, these guys here, and put them in one-to-one -one correspondence uh, with the members of another set, then that other set is countably infinite, just like the natural numbers. You'll see this at play, um, me using the natural numbers as a basis for comparing other countably infinite sets. You'll see that at play um, in uh, the next few examples that come. But yeah, what I'm saying is that like, if you give me another set and say, hey, show this other set is countably infinite, what I'm gonna do is show that I can take this other set and take its members and write them down one at a time below each of these guys. And if I could do that, then I have demonstrated that this other set is the same size as the natural numbers, which is countably infinite. Speaking of which, the size of a set is measured by what is called its cardinality. And so the way we indicate we mean cardinality of a set is we put these absolute value type bars around the name of the set. And when you do that, you read it as cardinality. And so here we mean cardinality of n when we have put these absolute value bars around n. And by n, of course, we mean the natural numbers. And so cardinality, as I said, roughly means size. Um, to demonstrate, suppose you have this uh, set here, and this set is a small set, and um, let's call it the set A, and the set A has the elements or members less than, percent sign, five, dollar sign, blah, blah, blah. Now, the cardinality of A is seven because A has seven elements or seven members in it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And so by the cardinality of n, we mean how many elements n has, how many members n has. They're an infinite amount, but we do give the cardinality of n a unique name uh, and a unique symbol. So um, this size of infinity, that is the size of n, um, is given the symbol this here, and it's read as aleph null. So this makes one type of infinity. And so uh, as I said, um, if we're given another set that has size aleph null, that is, this other set is also countably infinite, the way we show that this other set is countably infinite is by comparing it to the natural numbers and showing that there's a one-to-one -one correspondence between the members of the natural numbers and the members of this other set. And like I said, you'll see me demonstrating that in the next uh, few examples. So yeah, keep watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Take care.